Installing timber decking has a couple of simple processes we'd like to run through for you. The first one will be the starting board. Uh, the starting board is also how we, we start against a wall or we finish to the outside. So if you have a closer look at the decking, we've actually installed uh, our first board. You may notice we have grooved on both sides. All I've done is trim the outside board, the groove, and as you can see down here, that gives me a flat finish. I can actually run a facing board up under that. So the timber is going to come to you uh, grooved and also end matched. The end matching is going to allow you to join anywhere. You don't have to join on a joist. So all we do is position our first board. We actually use what we call a counterbore tool. The counterbore tool comes in from the edge, prepares the hole as you see it, and we have the wooden plug. So we put the screw in the bottom of the hole, and the plug in the top tap the plug down. So that's our starting board. The next board we actually insert a biscuit where it intersects on it. So the insert all we use is a biscuit which is double sided. We simply insert the biscuit with the screws that come with the kit. Keep thumb pressure on the biscuit at an angle and fasten. And that's all we have to do. You repeat that process on each board where it sits on the joist. Joist. And you can see this board here, it is actually between joists. So where it's between joists, This board simply comes in, engages it. Now, that's tapped into position. If I want to apply further pressure, use the deck max clamps. As you can see, this is unsupported. So all I need to do, hold the board down, apply the final pressure. If it was a longer piece of timber like this one, hold it in position. Used for the preparation of the hole is what we call a counterbore tool. The counterbore tool simply fits into your, into your cordless drill or electric drill. It actually sets the exact depth to suit the plug and also the exact diameter. All I do is set a distance to come in What you'll notice is the ring on the top stops spinning once you've hit the depth. The next thing I do, I simply insert the screw in the bottom of the hole. Because the plugs are tapered, so the, there's only one way the plug can go in, tap it in. Finished. What I do now is just come through and cut that off. One of the tasks of cutting a plug off is one of the challenges we have. There's a tool we recommend is the Multimaster Fine Tool or Fiend. It's actually what we call an oscillating tool. That won't cut you. You watch what it does when we cut timber. leaves a perfect finish in a matter of seconds. Uh, 
Decking clamps have become one of the best parts of our business for ease of installation and for perfection. What I've done, and I'm just going to run through very briefly for you, we simply fasten the last biscuit down. Then I bring the next board in. I lightly tap into position. Now, traditionally, carpenters would grab a chisel, lever it back, possibly damage the edge, put your foot on it, <coughs> someone stand on it. What we've developed now is a clamp, which is on a sliding bar. It has a tongue. It reaches back, captures the board, and this is a quick slide, and then you apply pressure. With the DECMAC system, as you apply pressure, the board wants to rise, because I haven't got a biscuit here yet. So immediately I bring in the little short clamp, I reach under, clamp on, this way. Now when I'm going a longer distance, I'm going to keep duplicating with the same clamp. Reach back, clamp. The last part of the finish is a piece of wood the same profile. I turn upside down into the face of the board, finish the board in. Apply a little bit more pressure. My hands are now free to actually fasten the biscuit. So this clamp is what we call the 600 clamp, being the length and the features of capturing the board and the tongue which reaches in. The second clamp is the short clamp that simply applies downward pressure to the board.